so good. And Floria's here. Welcome back to the Love Lab. As you can see, I'm already ready to go. Today we're searing halibut with a lemon rosemary sauce. This is gonna be amazing and it's fancy food, y'all. Come on in the Love Lab. Let's cook. So family, today we're gonna cook halibut. We're doing fish today because we're trying to be a little healthier, right? Okay, anyway, we're just gonna cook fish today. <laughs> so we're gonna sear this fish, we're using halibut. I love halibut because it's fresh and wild caught, well, this one is at least, and it's a nice meaty fish, it's very thick, so you gotta watch your timing as you cook it, but it's absolutely delicious and very filling. So I'm starting off by heating up in my skillet some butter and olive oil. And again, I'm using butter and olive oil because the butter has a different smoke point than the olive oil and we don't want this to just go crazy burning, blah, blah, blah. So put the two in there together. Butter smoke point is low, olive oil is high. You put them together, you get just the right combination. We are going to season these halibut fillets. Look how big and beautiful these are. I cannot wait. We're gonna season generously, okay? Starting with salt and pepper. And I'm telling you, don't go like, don't skimp on the seasoning because what's going to happen when you turn the fish over or you put it into the uh, heat, the seasoning, some of it will come off anyway. So if you don't have enough on there, or some people talk about putting a pinch on there and stuff, that makes me mad. Yeah, what am I gonna do with a pinch? I wanna taste it, you know what I'm saying? All right, so that's salty and we're gonna put some pepper on there as well, some fresh cracked pepper. When I sear, I usually like to sear with just salt and pepper and then add the flavors later because otherwise the herbs are just gonna burn. Okay, now make sure this is nice. Oh yeah, nice and hot. All right, patting that in. I'm gonna put this in with this side down first because we're gonna turn it over for the skin side. And you hear that? If you don't hear that, it's not ready, okay? In fact, I want it to get a little bit hotter. So before I put my next piece on, I'm going to let it get a little bit hotter. Okay, hot enough. <laughs> And I'm gonna put this one here. Oh yeah. And this one here. Okay. Now, we're gonna let those get a really nice crust on them. The key to searing good thing, things really well is making sure your heat is up high, okay? Make sure it's hot when, it, when your protein picks the skillet and then don't touch it. That's the hardest one, I admit, don't touch it. So we're gonna let that sit there and cook and just get a nice crust on it. What's also happening though while it's getting that crust is the fish is starting to cook from the bottom up. So we're gonna go ahead and let it start to cook. Once we've got a really nice crust, we'll flip it over, give it some more time to cook, then we'll take it off and make our sauce. Our sauce is going to be made with a little bit of a Sauvignon Blanc, white wine, any dry white wine will do. If you don't wanna use wine, use chicken broth. We've got some cream, some rosemary, and some fresh lemons. That's about it. All right, guys, let's give this a chance to kind of keep going and get all nice and seared up. We'll flip it over and we'll keep going. All right, guys, let's give this the first of the nudge test. I give the nudge test is how we can tell if our crust is formed. You want to give your meat just a little nudge, and if it doesn't move, that means it's still forming that crust. Now here's the key with the nudge test though, okay? If you push it, it's gonna move. <laughs> All right, so nudge. Just not quite moving. Let's give it a few more minutes. All right, let's check this now. Oh yeah, see how it's moving a little with the nudge? Let's give this one a flip. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. That's what we want. Another. Almost, almost. Those aren't quite ready yet. But you see how also the fish has started to cook down? I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can start to see the meat is turning that opaque white color that fish will look like when it's done. Now, I'm making this a little bit of a bonus video, guys. I had some other halibut as well, same fish. I just had a lot of these fillets. What I'm gonna do with these is bake them. So I put a little bit of olive oil on top of these, season them generously with salt and pepper, and some fresh, rosemary right here. I'm going to put these in the oven on 375 degrees and just let these bake. All right. So we've got a couple of different ways we can do things up in here. You can make halibut any kind of way you want. Welcome to the love lab. <laughs> Back to these babies. Almost. 
Oh yeah, they're nudging, okay? And look at that. See how beautiful that is when you give it the time to just sit there and get the color. I'm telling you, the best thing to do is to find something else to do while you're waiting for it because otherwise it's so easy to get impatient. And this one is moving as well. And there we go. Now, because these are super thick, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave this temperature up for a little bit while the skin side starts to get its nice crispness. Now, I'm gonna start to turn it down a little bit and let it cook some more. Then as it cooks some more, I'm gonna take it out, put the sauce in, make the sauce, and then put the fish back in and let the fish finish cooking in the sauce. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take this fish off now and start to make our sauce because we don't want too much to go on. <laughs> and I want you to see, oh yeah, that bottom is just beautiful. Yes. Oh, oh my God, I love this. It's so pretty. <laughs> so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna set the fish aside. I'm gonna turn the heat off for a second so it can really cool because I don't need this much going down, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and I'm gonna pour some of this excess butter out because I don't need this much of the butter right now in here to make my sauce, okay? Just a little bit of it, but I wanna really get out the... Oh, I did that so you couldn't see me, huh? Well, what I, what I did was I poured it out, okay? And then I'm also just gonna take something and get out some of the seasonings that burn to the bottom because I don't want to have that in my sauce. All right, so now we're gonna get back to our skillet. I've wiped out most of the stuff that was in there, the seasonings that would have come off from the bottom. I've turned my heat off. I'm gonna turn it back on, but right now I just want it to cool off some. I'm gonna take just a smidge of that flavoring that we just had, okay? Get that going, and what I'm going to do is deglaze the bottom of what's left of this pan with this white wine. Oh, look at that. Okay, this is my favorite part. <laughs> oh, it smells amazing. Y'all, I hope the smoke detector don't go off. Don't you hate that? <laughs> anyway, you see how some of these flavors came up? This is what you want. The little bit that's left on there. We wanted to get the black pieces out because we don't want that in our sauce, right? Hello. All right, pour that wine in. And that big puff up that comes up is the deglazing where it's actually getting the flavors that are still in the bottom of that pan and it's releasing them and bringing them up, getting them in the mix, you know. You know, okay. Y'all know I can't really dance, but I like to. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and let this just come to a little bit of a boil. That's gonna get the alcohol content really cooked out. So we're not worrying about getting anybody drunk with this chicken. Mm. Lord, today. We're not getting anybody drunk with this fish and this sauce. <laughs> but this white wine is gonna give it a beautiful kiss of, kiss of flavor. A little bit more. Oh yeah. See that, see how it starts to come down once it first pops up? That's my favorite part though. I ain't gonna lie, that's my favorite part. Okay. <laughs> All right, get this to a little bit of a boil. Just get it actively moving around. And even though we took out the seasonings that had separated from the fish over here into this pan, we're still gonna get the flavor. So don't feel like, oh my God, we just got rid of the flavor and the deglazing. No, we didn't. It's okay. You don't want the little black bits, okay? All right, see, this is coming to a nice boil. Now we're gonna come with some cream. This is heavy cream. And I'm gonna start slowly adding the cream in, okay? And I'm whisking it together. Like so. See that? Okay. That little cream. And you don't need a ton of this sauce because the way you're going to put it on the fish is just going to be a beautiful compliment. What I'm also going to add in here is some rosemary. Okay. So some fresh rosemary sprigs. And this is going to flavor this sauce beautifully. And last but not least, we're going to add our lemon. It said lemon rosemary, right? <laughs> Fresh lemon is always best in these situations. Oh, yeah. Oh, this smells so good. I'm sorry. I got a whiff, you guys, of that rosemary. Oh. This is a good lemon. I probably should have 
loosened it up a little bit. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Mm, okay, so let's, whoop, you took that aside. So let's go back to whisking this together. See how beautiful that's coming? Oh, y'all, it's so pretty. Okay, we're gonna get it with a little bit of salt as well because salt is important. Okay, it's gonna help those flavors all come together. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get into this. And this rosemary is just going to beautifully season our sauce as it's cooking up here. It's very gently bringing it together. Oh, it looks good. Let me grab a spoon so I can just get a taste and see if I like the direction in which we're going. It's not ready yet. It's gotta get a little thicker, but that's okay. We can still taste. Oh, that's beautiful. That, toss, that sauce tastes pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna cream it up a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna put some more lemon in here too as well. Okay, let me get the other half. That's big lemon. Here we go. Woo. rosemary in there is lovely. You see how as you continue to let this cook and boil, it's, it's around medium, medium high. It's going to thicken on its own. The, the heavy cream is going to thicken and the kiss of flavor from the dry white wine is just beautiful. So what we're going to do now that this is coming back to a boil, we're going to put our fish back in here. Yes, baby. We're putting the fish back in just like this. See that? Look at that. One. I wish you could feel how crisp the bottom is, the skin. It's so <laughs> oh, be careful not to break it apart though as I lift it up. <laughs> and here we go. Okay. Now I'm going to put a meat thermometer in here to watch the temperature of the fish as it cooks so I can know when it's done. Okay, I'm going to put this right in the thickest part of the biggest piece. This says our fish is around 98 degrees or so. We want to cook this until it gets to, ooh, there it is, until about 145 or so. That's a good temperature for fish, okay? I might have to change the thermometer. This one didn't want to cooperate with me at first. I think she's tired. She wants to retire. All right, I'll get another one out. It's the thing when you have several. All right, so we're going to let this sit here, and we're going to turn the temperature down, the heat down just a little bit, okay, so that it can continue to cook. But even in continuing to cook, we don't just want to just burn it make sense? We're at no risk of frying the fish anymore because it's sitting in sauce now, but we want the flavor of this sauce to really just become one with it. Got a little crushed rosemary here too. Some chopped up rosemary, right? I'll just put that around as well. Oh, it looks so good. It smells even better. All right, let's give this some time and we'll be back. The family, I found the thermometer that works. Those other two, I guess they said I just worked them too hard. <laughs> See how I'm just gonna put this sauce just a little over here. Our big one's at about 97 degrees. We wanna give it some more time and let it keep cooking. That's the thing about a thick piece of fish. You gotta give it time. Don't rush the process. And don't worry, we're not gonna lose that beautiful searing by spreading this sauce on here, okay? Nothing will be lost. You have my word as a mom. Well fam, our halibut has been cooking here for about 15 minutes. And I want you to notice how beautiful this sauce has thickened up. Since I was telling you, it's gonna thicken up as it cooks. The boiling is just nice and a beautiful slow roll. Let's see how nice and thick it is. It's coating our spoon. And I found a thermometer <laughs> that will work. This is one of my, uh, this is a different instant read one. I, you know, you use them all the time, they get tired. Let's check the temperature of this. We're looking for around 145 or so. Now it's important when we check that you want to check towards the top of the fish. Don't go all the way down to the bottom of the skillet because that's going to be hotter and the bottom of the fish is also going to get done faster. So you really want to go in the middle towards the top and this is giving us a reading of about 142. It's still moving. So once it stops is when we know we're good. This had 145, so this one is done. It's going past the number we want. Let's look at this thick one here. Okay, let's put that in. Come on it so I can see it. It's at 143. Very good, okay? 
And what I also like to do with these is check in a couple of different spots just to make sure, okay? I'm gonna take them out, put them on this beautiful platter. Oh yeah. All right, so move this stuff around. Turn the heat off. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. Yes, okay. Now taking these out, we don't want them to come apart. So I'm gonna take this out very carefully. Ah, look at that. Two. There. Here. And this is piece three. This is the biggest of them, of them all. So I wanna make sure I don't tilt it. That's why I have this little offset spatula in case I need it. There we go. Perfect. Now look at this beautiful sauce that's cooked up. See how that is all nice and just rich. And also, even though the rosemary is in there, if you want, you can strain it through. That's why I have a strainer back here. You can strain it through and one of these into a bowl and pour it on the top. Or what I like to do when it's this pretty, honestly, y'all, just take it like this. Turn the fan on. Take this and just spoon over the top. Isn't that beautiful? And this is just rosemary pieces in here. So it's not like a whole bunch of pieces of, you know, garlic and a whole bunch of other stuff in the way. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then we'll just drizzle some sauce around here as well. And this is it. Beautiful, healthy dinner. We've seared this. It's just, uh, Look at this. Look at it, folks. Family, look. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make it pretty. I want it. I just got, I gotta go get my husband. This is pretty food. <laughs> You'll like pretty food. Everybody likes pretty food, don't they? I'm gonna take this extra sauce and put it on the bottom. Put this in. I'll also, maybe saute up some spinach to go with it. Oh, I love how it looks. I always have it. And we're just gonna spread that sauce around. All right, look at that. So beautiful. And family, here is our baked halibut out of the oven. Beautifully done. I put the thermometer in there, so I checked the temperature, got it to 145. And again, because this is baked and a little bit healthier, we're not gonna, we're not gonna douse it in all of that good cream and wine sauce. We're just gonna squirt some fresh lemon on here, like so. And this is a healthier alternative if you still want some fish, but you kind of don't want to sear it and all that good stuff. This will taste amazing. <laughs> All right. That's that. Well, guys, now that all of our halibut is done, we've put the nice ones that we seared on a platter. We have the baked ones here. I let it cool a little bit, and I'm just going to get off a little piece here because I want you to see how deliciously flaky this is inside and soft. And the sauce. Oh my God, this is so good. This is the best. It's so meaty, it's good, but yet it's soft. Mm. And the skin on the bottom, it will just come right off. Look at that, look at that. Oh. Can you see? Mm. All right, fam, you gotta do this. This is so good. Have a wonderful day. See you guys next time right here in the Love Lab for more Calabama cooking with Chef Lorius. That's me. Happy cooking.